On March 23, 2012, a snake ban was passed in the U.S., banning the importation and transportation of four species of constrictor snakes due to the snake's impact on South Florida. The ban is an amendment to the Lacey Act of 1990, a conservation law in the U.S. that protects plants and wildlife. The ban covers the Burmese python, yellow anaconda, and North and South African pythons. Hogtown Reptile Shop in Gainesville has never carried any of the illegal snakes, but sell what they call medium-sized snakes in the 10-foot long range. Co-owner Chris Glass says there are misconceptions. People think all the time um, that yeah, these are the ones in the Everglades, or they're all venomous, or they're poisonous, or if you're pregnant, they're going to chase your baby, and it, it's crazy. Kyle Tarr, a senior at UF, has been a responsible reptile owner almost his entire life. This is a black and white banded California king snake. Uh, he's only about three months old, really tame, he's never bitten. The recent snake ban amendment to the Lacey Act impacts all different kinds of reptile owners. Some reptile lovers feel like the ban is a punishment and worry that in the future, it could potentially affect a wider variety of other reptiles. They're going to try to add everything to it. Um, unfortunately, the science they did for the ban and all of that, the science was kind of botched. It's not very good science they used for their uh, statistics. Since the ban, Kyle worries about being able to own his reptiles in the future. And eventually it's going to be like snakes like this that are reasonably harmless just because of reckless people and people being scared of them that now I can't own something that I enjoy having just just like other people have dogs. By not taking care of a reptile properly, accidents can happen. I think it's a matter of, ooh, I want this snake. Oh, I can use this cage. It's not really designed for it, and they don't realize how strong a snake is and that they can escape. The same goes for other reptiles, like Lola, Kyle's Argentinian red tegu. The Lacey Act and the snake ban is, even though it's localized and the problem with the snakes is the, the biggest thing in the news now, they're also starting to hear more and more about tegus. The misunderstandings about the snake ban are causing all kinds of problems in the reptile community. The lack of education. That's our problem, how we got in this whole thing, is education and the lack of. By being knowledgeable about reptiles and the proper care they require, fewer accidents will happen, allowing people like Kyle to continue to own the animals he loves. Alyssa Hayden, WUFT News.